Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another edition of Hilal Live. Thanks for watching us on channel 347 and on our live stream www.hilal.tv. My name is Lukman Shadrach, all the way from the uh, Cape Town studios. And uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks, we have been chatting about an event that we're so proud to be part of. We were part of the event the weekend and inshallah for the next two weekends as well. And I'm talking about the Spice Maker Ramadan Souk series that will be happen happening at number seven Indulan Crescent in the Lansdowne area. First up, I'd like to welcome the CEO of uh, Spice Maker, Uncle Sharif Abbas. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. And uh, assalamu alaikum to the viewers. Jazakallah so much for coming into studio. And uh, also from JEQ, Molina Yusuf Katrada. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. so much also for coming into the studio. Uncle Sharif, we were there this weekend at the uh, Spice Maker Souk and uh, Ramadan Souk, and it was a great weekend. It was exhilarating. It was a steady flow of feet that was coming in as well. But for those of our viewers that missed it, you know, that couldn't quite get there or couldn't quite watch it, maybe they're in some other parts of the world, tell our viewers very quickly about this amazing event. Absolutely. I think it was, uh, you used the word exhilarating. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it was exceptional. Nice. We redefined what a Ramadan event must be all about. And I think you saw the atmosphere mm -hmm. right from the start, nine o'clock the morning mm -hmm. till seven o'clock the night. Absolutely. Uh, things were just rocking. And uh, I don't know how they say it in Afrikaans. Mm -hmm. Did it correct? <laughs> <laughs> Mashallah. It, <did>. Mashallah, <laughs> it was a, it was yeah. a great event. Yeah. I think part of the proceedings of the weekend, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we love the recitation of the Quran. Mashallah. We, ha we had Muhammad Ayub Asif mm -hmm. reciting. And that was the start, Gee. you know, yeah. of the, the first weekend. And with that recitation, I think mm -hmm. we've set the tone for this coming weekend absolutely. and as well as the 9th and the 10th, inshallah. I absolutely agree. I think it was a weekend that uh, it would definitely set the tone for the next couple of weekends. But more importantly, for for those of our viewers that want to know what is this buzz about, the Ramadan, you know, spice maker sukh, and we've heard about it, we've seen it advertised. Um, but what is what, what was the initial uh, idea? behind holding a market or a souk like this? No, absolutely. You know, uh, I've already said before that we've had these major events mm -hmm. under uh, Ramadan for All, where we've invited the entire Cape Town community to come. Sure. We, we've we taken a pause in terms of doing event an event more segmented mm -hmm. to make it more accessible, to, to look at the components of the event. Mm -hmm. Sometimes over one weekend, you can't fit in all mm -hmm. those components. Mm -hmm. And Molina Kathrada will talk about some of those components, which we be, believe is actually imperative. Gee. You know, at this time, uh, you know, in the history of the Ummah, number one, but also, you know, thinking about charity mm -hmm. going into the month of Ramadan. And I think there's many components that we've now included. But what we've done, is that we've increased the variety of our vendors, number okay. one. So, number two, we've done a new, uh, there's a new look to the entire precinct. Nice. So, you know, Bedouin tents, marquees, and we've redefined that absolute space. So, mm -hmm. every single space there is being utilized. Nice. But what we've done is that although a Spice Mecca is the engine room, uh, of the entire event and mm -hmm. much of the focus has been on Spice Mecca and it's soak mm. with its new packaging, with new products that we've added to the portfolio. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> you know, much of what happens at these events is there are pre-Ramadan purchases nice. that takes place. Mm -hmm. So Spice Mecca provides precisely that your Faluda, your, we've just launched a new drink called the Ilachi milkshake. Nice. It's a faluda with an Ilachi flavor. Wow. There's chili bites, there's vermicelli, the biryani packs. All of that is available, mm -hmm. but available how? Mm -hmm. It's available at a major, major discount. We've also Stunning. structured a parcel that is 100 rand. Now, I know that that's 100 the Ramadan, rand. That's the Ramadan parcel. But that parcel wasn't 100 rand this weekend. You discounted it even further. Gee, was, you know what? That <laughs> 
you, you, you know something? I want every family to have a decent iftar sure. table. And we started this past weekend discounting that parcel even further. Nice. Um, however, you know, the value is 200 rand and people should come prepared to pay the, the 100 rand. So that is what is happening there. There's a free calendar nice. that, uh, you know, structured in such a way that it talks to the, far, the three segments mm. of Ramadan. First um, 10 days being mercy, mm -hmm. second 10 days forgiveness, and the third 10 days liberation from the hellfire. So that is there. You flip, it, uh, flip that around. There are mm -hmm. uh, recipes to be had. And then there's another recipe booklet that we do every year, right. absolutely free to everybody attending. And of course, Shamila Buzz does her... A cooking uh, demonstrations. A cooking wow. demonstrations. Those were amazing. And, uh, you know, everybody gets a tasting. Mm -hmm. But... Also, she gives away her cookbook, her cookbook, nice. my passport. So, you know, that is the, what happens there. So we're the engine room, but the myriad mm -hmm. of variety, uh, the apparel to be purchased from Serenity, Purple and Prose, James, you know, all uh, Belfem, all yes. of these companies that, uh, you know, that will demonstrate yeah. and will have their, their goods on show. But then an amazing six food trucks, Amazing. That will be there. And then lastly, uh, the entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 heard Absolutely. the seven steps. This week, we this weekend, Kudam. this coming weekend, Kudamu will be there sure. on two occasions on Saturday and probably one occasion on Sunday. Okay. But seven steps will, will fill in. So that's the, nice. the entertainment. And uh, jumping castles for, for the kids, rides for the kids. So you know what? You come there. It's, mm -hmm. it's a smaller venue but greater quality. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah so much, Uncle Kharif, uh, um, Sharif Moff. And, you know, um, uh, Maluna Yusuf, uh, I bumped into you a few times uh, at the at the souk as well. And JQ has such uh, a wonderful affiliation, affiliation with uh, Spice Maker. Um, give us a bit that history first before we go ahead uh, with regards to your involvement and JQ's involvement over the, the next couple of weekends. Jazakallah for this opportunity. Uh... So after our uh, beloved brother, Mr. Abbas, has given such an image of the excitement at the Spice Mecca Fair that happened last weekend, and you can expect more coming mm. up in the, in the next two weekends, inshallah. inshallah. Uh, Jamito Kurra has been involved all these years with uh, the fairs that Spice Mecca has been conducting. And uh, these fairs are bringing the community together. They bring about the spirit <coughs> of Ramadan. Excuse me. Uh, together with that, Jamiatul Qurra, Qurra being an educational institute, uh, being an institute of Qur'an, uh, and looking at the current uh, situation mm -hmm. that is happening in Palestine, uh, we have taken the reins with regards to uh, joining up with Spice Mecca once again and trying to promote uh, the cause of assisting the people in Palestine. Alhamdulillah. So the history of Jamiat al qurra mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Abbas being our, our, our chairperson of Jamiat al qurra as well, uh, has always uh, incorporated the educational model that we promote at Jamiat al qurra into the public light at his fairs and at his uh, markets, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So it's a beautiful uh, relationship that we have that's mm -hmm. bringing two, two very important aspects in society. Yeah. One is... Uh, finance and one is obviously education, Alhamdulillah. which the Ummah always needs. Yeah. So the weekend that passed, um, you had a very special project that you launched yeah. as well. Tell us about that. Uh, shukran. So this project is Letters to Palestine mm -hmm. and uh, the deep connection that every one of us has for the holy city of uh, Jerusalem, the entire uh, country of Palestine, our beloved brothers and sisters there, and what we have been seeing in Gaza over the past uh, way over 100 days, mm -hmm. uh, it has taken an emotional toll on, mm -hmm. on people, on society, mm -hmm. and we need to find ways whereby we can express ourselves. Okay. So, uh, Jamil Al-Qurra, alhamdulillah, has come up with this initiative of uh, whereby starting with our learners at school, uh, writing letters to the parents of uh, uh, Palestinian parents Gee. who have lost uh, children. Of course, and of course. These letters will express sympathy, uh, support, hope, 
and duas for the parents uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, it's such it's uh, such a emotional time right now for yes. the world yes. for us in South Africa we've taken a bold leap to to yes. take um, the proverbial giant you know to court and to expose them for what exactly is is going on as well um, and uh, we're going to continue with this conversation just after the break but I like the idea I like the fact that we're getting the community involved um, in expressing themselves as well and showing their concern. After the break, we chat a bit more to the good people from the Spice Maker Ramadan uh, Souk series. Uh, we've got Uncle Sharif Abbas in the studio and also Molina Yusuf Katrada uh, chatting <coughs> about their involvement and how they're going to, and what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks as well. You're welcome to join us on the WhatsApp line if you were there this weekend. If you'd like to be there um, the next weekend, 079-085-2511. Let us know your thoughts. Uh, we'd like to give Uncle Sharif a feedback and um, also if you have any questions regarding uh, the Sukh as well. You are still watching Hilal Live. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. Thanks for watching us on Channel 347. We've opened up the WhatsApp line. If you'd like to communicate with us about the uh, Spice Maker Ramadan Sukh series, maybe you were there the, the weekend or you'd like to attend the next couple of weekends, let us know on the WhatsApp line uh, 79 Double one, we'd like to know your thoughts and we'll pass it on to Uncle Sharif. Or if you have a question, maybe you'd like to ask as well. Uh, back in the studio, Uncle Sharif Abbas and also Molina Yusuf Katarana. Jazakallah so much for coming into studio. Uncle Sharif, we had one weekend. We've got two weekends left of the Sukh series. Um, I do know that one of the things you mentioned is that you're not going to see the same traders. If you were there this weekend or the last weekend, and if you come in, would like to come through this weekend, you're not going to see the same traders. You're going to see a variety as well. Tell us a bit more about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, uh, Lukman, the whole concept is to keep it fresh. Okay. You know, we don't want to have the same thing mm. over the successive weekend. Sure. So traders will change. Okay. So, uh, you know, you'll have different traders, Indonesian traders, Tunisian traders coming in the food with the food carts. Uh, we'll have different burger joints instead of uh, Illis, you may have Ziggy's mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. So snack time. But at, as always, you know, at uh, Spice Mecca in the souk itself, mm -hmm. we serve uh, wonderful meals there, be it baburti and yellow rice. Uh, butter chicken wraps and nice. so on, but we always have something new. Nice. This this weekend, mm -hmm. we're going to be serving uh, Ilachi milkshake. Okay, that's drink. the one. That's the new product, right? <laughs> that's the new I've been, product. I've been trying. So, I've been dying to try that one because it sounds delicious. It's it's flavors you grew up with. Let me just tell you the the, the you know the the flavors that go into the Ilachi thing is pure pure Ilachi extract, mm -hmm. which is organic. And, uh, you know, it's nutritious, it's great, but nice. the taste is extraordinary. You know what? I was very surprised and I was so excited when Auntie Shamila told me, guess what? There's tasty wheat with a twist on Sunday morning. Now, that just took me back years. You know, I grew up in Derbs. We yes, all grew yes, up with tasty yes, wheat. Yes. It was a treat for us. Yeah. You know, so it, it, it took me back so many years. And these are all wonderful twists and recipes that Auntie Shamila yeah. comes up with as well. And what I do like is in the cook cooking demonstrations, they were such unique twists, but also for a novice like me that would like to dabble in the kitchen, I could also do it. Yeah. Are there cooking demonstrations happening this weekend well, as well? Well, there'll be another, there'll be several cooking demonstrations. Sure. Sharmila will be on stage. She'll be doing that. She's going to be doing it this time in a very accelerated fashion. Okay. You know, she'll pre cook some of the stuff, right. demonstrate it, and then serve. Of course. You know, so we can save some uh, television of time. Of course. But definitely. it will definitely happen. What sure. Sharmila does. You know, and with all of her recipes, she gives you uh, a recipe. Mm -hmm. We have the ingredients from Spice Maker, and you will have an authentic sure. meal, no matter what it is. If it's a Rogan Josh, mm -hmm. if it's a butter chicken, if it's a lamb vindaloo, mm -hmm. it's extraordinary. But what she does do, she'll encourage you to explore oh. with your recipe. If you want more, you want more bite, mm -hmm. add some more chili. Gotcha. You, you want uh, more, more uh, body, you add more coriander. Gotcha. If you want some deep flavor, you either add the cumin or saffron. Mm. So, you know, and she'll give you the toolbox to do exactly sure. what you want. Wow. So, you know, we sh everybody should be coming to watch her demonstrations sure, no. over the coming week. I think that's just one of the reasons you should attend. Yeah, uh, absolutely. The, the, <laughs> the sick as well. And of course, uh, <laughs> you know, she's going to have uh, a couple of recipe books. Of course. My passport, 
which you will give to attendees that comes to the demonstration. Yeah. Beautiful. I like that. Uh, Melinda, last week we had the, um, you know, we spoke about the letters to Palestine. Um, tell us a bit more about um, some of the projects that JEQ will be instrumental in uh, helping or, or being part of the Souk uh, in the next couple of weeks. Or let's look sure. at this weekend first. Sure. So together with the uh, delicious uh, food being prepared there at the Souk, there's also food for the soul. Nice. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So coming back to the letters to Palestine, we want everyone to come to Spice Mecca mm -hmm. and to participate in this uh, very meritorious act mm -hmm. of writing a very emotional, a very deep uh, message mm -hmm. to the people of Palestine. Inshallah. And uh, Jamiat al Qurra will have a table there, we'll have the necessary uh, at hand okay. for you to pen uh, your deep feelings for the people of Palestine. And those letters will be uh, hand delivered to the communities in Palestine. Amazing. So, Alhamdulillah, this is an opportunity not to miss out together with everything else that the Spice <coughs> Mecca Fair is offering to come and give off your heart, your tears in writing uh, for the people of Palestine. Inshallah. Uh, and then we also have the amazing, talented uh, Sheikh Abdul Hamid, who is just the most amazing Allah. gentleman I've ever met. Alhamdulillah. 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 So to tell uh, the viewers a little bit about Sheikh Abdul Hamid as uh, Sheikh Abdul Hamid is based at Jamiat al Qurra, mm -hmm. at our Boys Hibs Institute. Okay. Uh, he is currently busy with a, a, a phenomenal project, okay. one of its kind, uh, that's... Uh, writing the Holy Quran by hand Mashallah. and he's writing a script that has not been published internationally at the moment and it is the Qasr Munfasal mm. which is uh, the deletion of the small mud as we know it from the entire script of the Holy Quran which is one of the recognized modes of recitation of the Holy Quran. So Sheikh Abdul Hamid is currently on his seven Jews mm. of the Holy Quran. Uh, I personally sit with him uh, I try to every day just to get the barakah <laughs> and the noor of, of being in the company of somebody that is currently writing the Holy Quran by hand. Amazing. So Sheikh Abdul Hamid will be at the fair, inshallah. inshallah, inshallah. And uh, whoever wants to come to, uh, to visit him, such a great personality, not only is he a master calligrapher, he's also a great scholar of Islam, a great reciter. He recited as well at at the at the souk uh, last week, uh, and Sheikh Abdul Hamid will be present there. So uh, he'll be showcasing some of his calligraphic skills, as well as talking about sure. this this beautiful project that Jamiat al Qurra has embarked on and partnered with uh, Sheikh Abdul Hamid. Jazakallah so much, Molina, for sharing that with us, Uncle Sharif. What is the other uh, project that's very close to your heart as well? Is the Conversations with Humanity? Absolutely. Uh, tell us about that project. Yeah, I, I just want to say that what. Uh, Molana Yusuf has just spoken about uh -huh. that uh, an event with uh, Sheikh, uh, uh, Sheikh uh, uh, Salam uh, having him scribing and writing in front of your eyes uh, the huruf of the Quran I mean that makes this event authentically 100%, Ramadan. 100%. Uh, you, you, you know what I'm saying and so Alhamdulillah we're happy to be with that coming back to the con conversations uh, you know, on mm. humanity. I believe that this is such yeah. an important thing. Mm -hmm. And so we will be inviting the likes of Naledi Pando, and we'd like to invite Adila Hassim, mm -hmm. and we'd like to invite Farida Umar, mm -hmm. and we would like to invite quite a few leading personalities to mm -hmm. come and discuss Inshallah. about, uh, you know, the uh, humanity itself. How do we ground the the the, merit, uh, the 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 narrative that is moral that is ethical mm. uh, with our youngsters mm. with mm. our mm. communities when we are getting totally confused by the actions of the first world you know the western countries are giving they sit a, in the narrative. Uh, right. a different yeah. a different narrative Absolutely. and you know do we hold the un to account do we really insist that humanitarian law must be grounded. And I think these conversations with uh, individuals such, such as Naledi Pando mm. and uh, Iksan Talib and Abdurrahman Alexander, lead, leading wow. lights in our community, and get their views and their opinions, and that will be broadcast live Absolutely. on Hilal and VOC. And I must say 
that uh, you know we've partnered with Hilal TV, we've partnered with Voice of the Cape, and we've partnered with Jamiat Al Qurra. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I take off my hat to all of them for their contributions to to this uh, event. Yeah. Not only the event, but uh, contribution to the community of Cape Town and the and the, the broader Ummah, inshallah. Inshallah. Speaking about hats, the black hat sale is back on, on this weekend. <laughs> Under a minute or so, let our viewers know what they can expect this no, weekend. Absolutely. We're going to be having the 100 rand parcel available. Nice. You know, we sold about a thousand units over the last weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we're ramping it up to about 2,000 units uh, this uh -huh. weekend. But the black hat sale, as always, uh, and I'll tell you what I did last week. Uh, there was uh, the biryani packs that yes. normally goes for close to 100 rand in some of the, the stores. But we had it on sale for 70 bucks. And uh, I said, 30 bucks, 30 rands. Ouch. And, uh, you know, within seconds, <laughs> everything was <laughs> off, depleted off the shelf. <laughs> the same thing I did with the, the chili bites. Yes. You know, it was 12 I said, 8 rand for the next half an hour. And everything was, was depleted. Of course, we had to fill up. And we do that continuously. But you have to be there in order to qualify. You for those. must be there to qualify. And uh, uh, um, Molina mentioned, you know, that the weekend is also about uh, enriching you know, the soul. Enriching the soul. Okay. And but you know, it's also an important time for charity. Of course. And for us at Spice Maker, it's about to give back. Yeah. This Cape Town community, and I cannot say it enough. And I say the broader community of South Africa. The Joba community now, the Port Elizabeth community. I say sh shukran to all of you. You've supported Spice Mecca. And we've started 30 years ago as a small company. Alhamdulillah, uh, you know, your contributions and your support has made us where we are. And it's our time now to give back to you. And we demonstrate it in real terms. You are there, Lukman. You know all about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Uncle Sharif, Jazakallah so much. Always a pleasure having you in our company. Always a pleasure being at uh, Spice Maker Sook and experiencing the warmth from yourselves, your family and the staff as well. And uh, also to JEQ for always being there for the community and enriching our souls in so many ways as well. Uh, Jazakallah, we'll see you guys the weekend, inshallah. And we'll see all the viewers. Inshallah. Uh, on the, the second and the third and the 9th and the 10th. Okay. Uh, one more thing, mm -hmm. that on the 10th, we're going to be launching the JEQ crowdfund. Okay. Uh, and inshallah, at 11 o'clock at the venue, and that will be something magnificent. And Absolutely. we're going to have some leading lights present as well. Inshallah. Jazakallah, gentlemen. All the very best. Have a great evening. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. That's uh, Uncle Sharif Abbas and also um, Molina Yusuf Katrada. Uh, from JQ and uh, Spice Maker chatting to us about the uh, Spice Maker Ramadan Sook happening again this weekend. You have to be there in order to qualify for those amazing discounts. After the break, uh, we chat to the good people from uh, Steenberg Mosque and find out find out about a project that they have uh, as well. Inshallah, uh, you're still watching Hilal Live.